Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and talked with Gumshoe here, and he totally accidentally revealed to us where the witnesses are, or at least one of the witnesses. And so now we have Moe's room and the circus entrance. There's actually something over by the circus entrance right now, but we'll go back to that in a little bit. First, let's go to Moe's room. This is it. The name tag on the door says Mo on it. I guess he's not here. Wow, it's a real mess in here. My room's probably worse, though. Oh well, I give up. We'll have to come back later. So I'll just examine everything here, and then we're gonna head back to the circus entrance. Mo seems to be a voracious reader. Look at all the hard books he has here. Clowns for dummies, the joke's on you, treat your peons right, in the classic, funny jokes are funny. Wow, Moe's very studious. The joke's on you, huh? Tee <laughs> clown equipment is so funny looking. He's got a balancing ball, a unicycle. He's even got a trampoline. But they're all broken. Maybe he was just a little too excited during practice. Who knows with that guy. Maybe that's part of the gag. Awesome! Look at these shoes! They're great! Forget the shoes, check out that great gag banana peel. You sure it wasn't Mo's snack after lunch? Are you blind? Look at how many scratches there are from people slipping on it. Mo's got an excellent pair of pajamas. Laid out on his bed in an excellent manner. What? Those are pajamas? You mean he goes to bed dressed as a clown? Ew. All those clown costumes lined up like that. I don't know about you, but it's creepy. Look at the collection he's got. It's incredible. Must be a collection of clown costumes from around the world. Oh, I almost forgot. What is it now? She better not want me to try one of those on. I was thinking of starting a costume collection myself. I'll call it World Spirit Channels. We can display it in our office. In our office? As soon as you start paying the bills, you can say that. And I think that's about it for now, so let's go ahead and move back. Circus entrance. Oh god, I, I'm... I have a general idea of what voices I'm supposed to do for these characters, but they might come out a bit weird, so excuse me if I have trouble finding the voices first. Huh? Hey Nick, look over there! What? There's someone over there. Hey, excuse me. Hello. Wow, he sure is a quiet one. Excuse me. What? <laughs> me? Yes. You work at the circus, don't you? No, I'm just your everyday average Joe. An average Joe who just happens to hang out at the circus? I don't think so. Yes, I am. I'm. I've got nothing to do with what's going on here. He's lying, like any regular person who would hang out around the circus, dressed like that. I'm an attorney. My name is Phoenix Wright. I'm a spirit medium. My name is Maya. Uh, well, I um, just happen to be um, passing by. I don't, su I don't suppose you happen to be some kind of carny? N not a c carny. I'm a, a p p performer, actually. A, a v v v v ventriloquist. Ventriloquist? <laughs> I'm a b b Benjamin w w Woodman. You have the last of your last name is w you are last name is Woodman. <laughs> yes, th that's right. But everyone c calls me b b b b Ben. Ah, yes, yes, yes. That's your alias, right? I believe they called a stage name. Oh boy. Okay. First of all, before I talk to you, as always, attorney's badge. Would you mind taking a look at this? Uh, um, uh, I, 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 I... I guess we won't need you to look at this after all. And then here's your picture of you. Would you mind taking a look? Okay. I guess just doesn't want to talk to us, apparently. 
Excuse me, Ben. Uh, yes, uh, you mean me? About the murder. I'd like to talk to you about the details, if I may. Really, I'm just a regular, normal guy. I don't n n know. Uh, 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 uh. This guy's so nervous, he's creeping me out. Nick, cheer up. Just try and smile. No. Oh. Would you mind telling us something about Max? Maximilian Galactica. M -m 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 Max? <laughs> He's not very nice. Did he just say that Max is not very nice? Uh, 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 ow! My <laughs> head hurts. Yikes. I hope he's okay. Sounds like he just popped a gasket. Ben, so you're a ventriloquist? He's a ventriloquist. I think that actually is the pun of his name. <laughs> I'm j j j just a regular g g guy. You already told us that you were a ventriloquist. Uh, oh, y y yes. Nick, don't yell at him. You can't do that. I can't help it. He's making me nervous. Ben, do you mind showing me some of your skills as a ventriloquist? Well, I, right now, my... P -p -p uh, 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 I, 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 w w why? Ugh, he's contagious. Okay, we're immediately getting out of here. That voice for him sucked. Like, it sucked to do. So I might change that up in a bit. I still want to keep, like, the same sort of idea, but, like, I don't know, just doing that voice, like... Made my chest feel weird. I don't know. Hello? Kablamo! Congratulations! You're the big wiener! The one millionth visitor to the room of the one Mr. Mo Curls, aka me. Earplugs must find earplugs. To celebrate this momentous occasion, would you care for an organic grape? Just one. Did you get my joke right there? <laughs> I will strong giving you more than one. Um No no no. If it was funny, it was your duty as a human to be and to laugh. People who don't laugh are usually last seen in land sing, catch my drift. <laughs> um why uh <laughs> this is like some fa Faustian nightmare. Come on, it was funny. Clowns are always funny in my book. In my book, they're just funny looking. <laughs> you sure do have great taste in clothes, girly. Look at that garb. You look just like Greta Garb. Ow! Oh! <laughs> Oh god, I did that laugh, now we have hiccups. One second. Ugh, <sighs> I'm going home. No, Nick, you can't! You know, I can excuse a bad joke or two, but this stooge keeps laughing at his own jokes. That's what I object to. Okay, okay, I get it. But you have to admit, he is kind of funny. Ugh, no. No, I do not have to admit that. Because he isn't. <laughs> This is Mo Curls. He is... God, I'm gonna say this about every character in this case, but he is... certainly a character we have to deal with. What do you think about this? Anything come to mind? Ugh, you want some advice on your development as a comedian, right? <laughs> I see. Well, this is what you do. When you tell a joke, imagine everyone's wearing underwear and dancing the lamp. Bot. Um, I think that's enough advice for now. Nick, he was giving you good advice. Don't be so close-minded. And I assume you don't have any- Oh! Ugh! What's the matter? Whenever I see my own nose, I'm reminded of my Italian heritage. Ah, I see. Must be because you have one of those Roman noses roaming all over your face. Didn't cross the line there, did I? You went so far past it, you need a map to get back. Ugh, okay, very big circus. 
could you please tell us more about the very big circus? It's a very big story! You sure you got the kind of time? And the hits just keep on coming. Ugh. This circus has been in business for 20 years. We all performed under the gardens of the ringmaster ma Russell Barry. 20 years? Wow! Working in the circus is never easy, especially nowadays. With movies, TV, and bowling, there's just too much competition. I haven't gone bowling in a while. I want to do that eventually. But, but, I love the circus. I love it too. That's why I've been here for 20 years. We work hard to keep the show running. No one sends in the clowns on us. Wait, how old is he? God, 46. Nick, he just made a joke. Laugh. Har, 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 har. The Ringmaster was a real big shot in the circus world, a real class act. Even when there were no customers, Russell would use his own money to pay me, because he knew that I had a family to care for. He was happy to take care of his employees. I see. How could anyone do that to such a wonderful man? Mo. Wiggity 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 what? Ugh. I'm sorry, Mo. Nick was born without a sense of humor. Don't worry about it. How can you fault someone for being born that way? Let's talk about the murder. Ugh. Let's see. It must have taken place around 10 p.m. last night. After rehearsals were finished, I was tuckered out, and so I came back here. After I went to bed, that's when I caught a peek of it. Caught a peek? Of the crime? This is what Detective Gumshoe was talking about. Mo is the eyewitness to the crime. You say you saw the crime. Do you mind telling me what you saw? Well, the police told me that I can't share my story with others. Don't say a word. I'm just gonna have to let these lips stay zipped. That's not fair. I guess you're right. Maybe I can tell you a few details, but only if you can get old Stiff Lips here to make with the funny. Stiff Lips? Wait. Do you mean me? Nick, you can do it. <coughs> What's the matter? Just getting ready. Okay. <clears throat> Do you know why I, Phoenix Wright, am a great lawyer? Because I'm right all the time. At least his expectations are low. I wouldn't let him quit his day job. Jeez, cut a guy some slack. At least it was funnier than Chuckles over here. It wasn't the greatest joke I've heard, but you did try, so I'll tell you what I saw. I'm sorry he's incapable of being funny, Mo. That night, once I had tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. I, it was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. Once I heard it, I jumped out of bed. That's when I saw... Without a doubt, without a, without question, without a doubt, it was that magician. That's all I saw, but it just proves how terrible that man actually is. He knows more about Max than he is letting on. The Ringmaster was truly ahead of its time. He always, he would always add new elements to the show. New elements. When you've been a performer for a long time, your act starts to get a bit stale. Hmm. I've realized that even my act can get a bit long in the tooth. Sometimes my jokes can be a bit, um, old-fashioned. A bit long in the tooth? But make that... But that make-believer takes things too far. Make-believer? The magician. The one that thinks he's all high and mighty. He had the gall to say to me, You're one of those funny types, right? What does that mean, one of those? Well, the joke's on him now. On him? Yup. He's got everyone, he's got on everyone's nerves. The day of the murder. You go ahead. Nope. No way. Just forget I said anything. I bet he's still hiding something about Max. <sighs> hm. 
he thinks he can kill the ringmaster, it's only just that he should die too. Mo. Sorry, I crossed the line, but he truly is a disgusting human being. Why do you hate him so much? Let me tell you this one. Let me tell you this one story. The morning before the murder, something terrible happened. Max clunked Ben right over the head, as hard as he could. Ben, the ventriloquist with the speech impediment? You should go to the cafeteria to investigate for yourselves. The cafeteria? Let's just say there's got... Let's just say there's gotta be something interesting there. <laughs> oh yes, the Bear Big Circus is very big, isn't it? You should always carry a map with you to get around. Ah, thank you. Um, this is an atlas. <laughs> oh, I kill myself, really. I'm dying here. Coronary, coronary. Now he's just laughing to hear his own voice. Okay, so now that we're done with Mo, we can head on over to the cafeteria like he was previously mentioning. Where is it? I think it's in the big top? I might get lost at some point. Yeah, there it is. Big top cafeteria. Ew. This place is gross. This must be because of last night. They didn't have time to clean up after dinner because of the murder. That reminds me. What was it Mo said? He said that yesterday morning Max clonked Ben over the head here. He also said that there's gotta be something interesting there. Nick, what's gotta be interesting? Don't ask. Huh. I actually don't know what that means either, so... I'll look that up and see if there's a thing there. The kitchen is over here. Everyone must have taken turns cooking. There's a duty list posted here. I wouldn't mind trying my hand at cooking for this many people. Maya's killer hamburger. You'd try it, wouldn't you? I forget if I've mentioned this uh, before in this LP. I definitely mentioned it in my Ace Attorney 1 LP. But uh, in the Japanese version, Maya liked, ham liked uh, ramen rather than hamburgers. And that was one of the many localization changes to make the game more American. This is strange. There's nothing on top of this stand. Look here. Max is written on it. It must be his VIP table. Isn't it a bit small to be a VIP table? You won't be putting on a 10-course meal like this. Well, he could still eat hamburgers, right? Gosh, just... I know it's a cafeteria, but there is an obsession with hamburgers. With all these investigations with all of the things we're investigating. It looks like they've left it exactly as it was on the night of the murder. They didn't seem too worried about cleaning up the dishes, did they? Hmm. Looking at all these dishes is making me hungry. Let's go get a burger at the snack stand outside. Once we're finished with the case. Alright, then let's get this over with, Nick. Here we go! Whoa! Where's the mute button when you need it? This is our first time really getting to talk to Maya again, because she wasn't in the first case, because, you know, Amni, uh, because, you know, we didn't have an investigation, and she wasn't in the second one because she was framed for murder, so this is the first time we're actually getting to, you know, talk to Maya, kind of like the first game. Uh, in the third game, we definitely get to see more of Maya throughout the game, so looks like they've left it exactly as it was on the night of the murder. Oh, already investigated that. Let's see if we could go, what is it, like 4 for 4 on burger mentions? Uh, a bulletin board for, um, bulletins. Doesn't look like there are any useful su clues posted here. Boring. Maybe we should leave a juicy tidbit for someone to read. Juicy. You know, like a fake clue. Hmm. Maybe something like, message from the killer. Give it up, Maya. You know Gumshoe would take it all seriously. Message from the killer. I am not Max Galactica. What's this? Must be a juice bottle or something? Ah, watch out, Nick. Broken glass on the floor, floor is dangerous. Hmm, a broken bottle just lying in the middle of the floor. Do you think it means anything? There's gotta be something interesting there. Huh? Looks like we're going to have to go back and meet with him. 
Him? Yes, indeed we will. It seems we've gathered up a lot of information here. We've got an entire page worth of uh, evidence here. And so in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and go on over to the detention center, have a talk with Max, and see if we can break those psyche locks of his. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!